As you might expect from an A-list couple like Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones, the two have some beautiful homes. These properties are across the globe, whether they're relaxing on the coast of Spain at their 250-acre estate, at their apartment in New York City, or at one of their other multi-million dollar mansions, they're always living in style, believe me. Actors Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones are one of Hollywood's longest running couples. In an industry where most relationships don't tend to last longer than an extended weekend, these two have been together since first meeting back in 1998 at the Deauville Film Festival in France. A year later and these two would be engaged. Only then to be married shortly after Douglas had his divorce from his former wife finalized. Over the next few years, they would have two children and accumulate a vast fortune between the both of them, one estimated to be as high as $350 million. They've also amassed an extremely valuable real estate portfolio with homes located all around the globe. For instance, one of the family's most exotic villas is a 250-acre estate on the coast of Spain called Seistaca, which Michael first bought prior to meeting Catherine in 1990 for $3.5 million. And whenever these two are back in Michael's home of the northeastern United States, they have a couple spectacular places to choose from, including a gigantic apartment directly across the street from Central Park, and an 11,000 square foot mansion in the town of Irvington. Finally, the family also owns a gorgeous vacation home in Bermuda, which you guys are going to go crazy over once you see it. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, and in this one, we're checking out the luxurious homes of Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Michael fell in love with what would become his Spanish retreat back in 1990. That's when he first laid eyes on all 250 acres of this Seestaca estate. Since buying the property for $3.5 million back then, which is roughly $6 million in today's currency, Michael would waste no time turning it into an extravagant paradise. Over his 30 years of ownership, he would leave his mark on the place by totally modernizing the space and redecorating the old buildings that were originally built by the home's first owner. The Austrian Archduke Ludwig Salvatore of Habsburg who built the property in the 1890s. Located about an hour's drive from the capital city of Palma, Douglas was fresh off his 1989 hit A War of Roses when he and his then wife Deandra Luker scooped up this rambling estate only to then spend a further $7 million on Renault. The property sits on a cliff and includes a main house, two cottages, and five apartments. So in total, there are 10 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, and over 10,000 square feet of living space. The whitewashed main house boasts a gigantic master suite with multiple open fireplaces, terraces, and views that are to die for thanks to those blue Mediterranean waves. Furthermore, there is also said to be a library, a home movie theater, artist studio, dining terraces, gym, and a spa with marble lines and heated swimming pool, all located on the property. Of course, with as much greenery as this estate boasts, there are also olive groves and even a vineyard located on the grounds that have produced grapes for award-winning wines in the past. Douglas himself has bragged that up to 20 guests can stay here at any one time, and over the years, he's hosted friends such as Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, as well as Michelle Pfeiffer and Jack Nicholson. But once Michael's marriage to Deandra ended, it put his ownership of the property in limbo. In 2014, the former couple would list their home for $60 million, and as you might imagine, and they didn't find a buyer. In June 2019, Michael would relist the property once more, this time asking for about half of the former price, or $32 million. Once again, a buyer was never found and eventually the listing was removed. So I guess that Michael and his ex are going to be holding onto this property for a little longer. Another one of Michael and Catherine's properties is this unbelievable home located just across the street from one of the most famous places in the world, Central Park. Located in the historic Central Park West building that was first constructed back in 1908, Michael and Catherine's unit boasts four bedrooms as well as six bathrooms, not to mention those totally unobstructed views of Central Park. Pegged as a quintessential New York City 
the apartment, this home is designed with all types of period details, which includes high ceilings and the grandest of grand rooms including a living room that's drenched in sunlight. Or how about that wood paneled library with a wood burning fireplace? Even the main dining room has its very own hearth to warm you up during mealtime and is situated right beside a full service chef's kitchen. Other impressively decorated rooms include the grand front foyer the cute and cozy breakfast room, and the master suite with its very own sitting area and an ensuite bathroom composed almost entirely out of marble. Outside of those spectacular spaces, there's also a powder room, wet bar with wine storage, as well as staff quarters with full bathroom and laundry services. In 2019, Michael and Catherine would decide to move off of the property, selling it for $21.5 million. Don't worry though, they didn't give up their New York zip code completely though buying an epic mansion in Irvington, New York around the same time that they sold this home. Michael and Catherine's primary house is this 12,000 square foot 1930s Georgian style mansion that's located on 12 private acres in Irvington, New York. Located 25 miles outside of Manhattan and first built in 1930, this home had been dubbed Long Meadow and features some 22 rooms of space, including eight bedrooms, 12 baths, and more than half a dozen fireplaces. The grand foyer up front features pale yellow and white striped walls, which complement the classic hardwood floors. Through the common area, you can reach the dining room, which boasts candy apple red lacquered walls and a limestone fireplace. There are also several seating areas placed throughout the home, all of which offer peaceful serenity, thanks to being drenched in calming shades of blue and white. Then there's that high sky wood paneled library with yet another fireplace and some eye popping arched windows. As for the kitchen, it includes a large center island, marble counter, tops and of course chef worthy appliances. Upstairs, all the guest bedrooms are incredibly spacious, while the master suite has its very own sitting room, dressing room and a spa like bathroom with yes, another fireplace. If all of that's not enough for you, there's also a gym, games room and an indoor swimming pool located on the premises. And we can't forget the exterior, where there's a massive stone terrace out back with a full service kitchen perfect for throwing get togethers when that New York weather is cooperating. This Despite everything this home includes, it somehow only set the couple back around $4 million when they purchased it in 2019. Uh, that being said, it also includes annual taxes that can top $150,000. Finally, we'll take one last look at yet another vacation home that Michael and Catherine frequent, their tropical paradise located on Bermuda Island. Now, Michael's connection with Bermuda goes back a long, long way. His mother, Diana, was a member of one of the oldest and most respected families in the territory, and her ancestors lived on the island back in the 1600s. Speaking with Architectural Digest, Michael would tell them, I celebrated my first birthday here. There's a real solace in returning to this tiny island where I have so many relatives, probably 70 in one place. To me, Bermuda is a real family spot. The multi-residence compound is located in the island's Warwick Parish and consists of a primary residence, a two-story guest house, a two-bedroom caretaker's cottage, and a one bedroom apartment. Also inside, the home has a formal living and dining room, both of which include their very own wood burning fireplaces. There's also a cozy kitchen with a built in dining banquette area. And those wooden floors spread through the first level of the home complement the kitchen's wood cabinets and exposed beam ceiling. Upstairs are the bedrooms, including the master suite, which dominates much of the top floor. It includes a luxurious bathroom that has its very own crystal chandelier, a free standing deep soaking bathtub and a glass enclosed shower. But the crowning achievement of the bedroom has to be the 50 foot long cedar planked veranda that offers stunning views of the surrounding area. Meanwhile, down in the basement of the main house is said to be an exercise room as well as a sauna. Of course, out back are a number of outdoor spaces, including a swimming pool, tennis court, herb garden, and a fruit orchard as well. Pretty much an island paradise, right? Which is why it's kind of shocking that despite his deep family ties, Michael and Catherine tried to move off the property in 2019, listing it for just over 10 million. And even more shocking might be that once they couldn't find a buyer and delisted the home after a few months on the market. I don't know with how much trouble Michael and Catherine seem to have finding buyers, something tells me they don't really want to give up these stunning homes. And honestly, I don't blame them. Well, that wraps up our Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta Jones house tour. What do you guys think? Which one of the couple's homes would you most like to live in? 
And if you had to choose, which one of their vacation homes would you rather move off of? The one in Spain or the one in Bermuda? Let us all know in the comments down below. I think my fave though was their main residence, the mansion in New York, but it's totally hard to choose. Thanks for tuning in, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!